Ever wondered what's the difference between eSIMs and physical SIM cards? We'll break down what sets them apart and which one's the right choice for you. First, a SIM card stores information that allows your device to connect to a mobile network. To use it, insert the card into your phone through a SIM slot. I make calls, send texts, and connect to the internet. People have traditionally used physical SIMs to stay connected wherever they go. When you land, you have to find a kiosk from a local provider to get your SIM. Sounds familiar? It can be a hassle, which is why eSIMs are getting more and more popular for travelers. So, what are the pros and cons of each? Let's start with physical SIM cards. The biggest advantage of physical SIM cards is that they're easy to swap. If you buy a new phone, you just pop the SIM card out and place it in the new one. Plus, they work on most phones, especially older models. But there are downsides. Physical SIMs are more vulnerable to theft and damage, and once you lose a physical SIM, you can't reuse your number. If you travel internationally, swapping them out can also be a hassle. On the other hand, eSIMs offer some great advantages. First, you can switch between networks or mobile plans seamlessly. Most phones also allow dual SIM functionality, meaning you can have two different numbers or data packs on one device. This is super convenient if you want to keep your current number while traveling. Plus, because it's a part of your phone, it's harder to lose or damage. You also don't need to worry about activation when it comes to Jetpack eSIMs. It's a one-time installation process, and it'll automatically latch on a network once you land in a country covered under your pack. However, eSIMs have some drawbacks too. Older phones or phones sold in certain regions may not have eSIM capabilities. With Jetpack, you can have just one eSIM for over 200 destinations, making it easy to stay connected wherever you are. And don't forget to subscribe for more travel hacks and eSIM tips.